And welcome back to White Mountain Today. Joining us in the, the studio, it's uh, the titanium man, Jesse Mostyn, <laughs> in the studio from Believe in Books. And we're going to talk about some great things. But, Jesse, how are you? I'm doing great, Rob. Uh, it's nice to see you. Well, it's good to see you. Yeah. And you have lots of things. That, now, I've been hearing about Believe in Books all summer long because you guys have been kind of here and there everywhere this yep. summer doing uh, stuff. Believe in Books Literacy Foundation, that's who we are. Um, we are uh, based and at the core of us is early literacy, preschoolers. Um, during the school year, we are visiting over 50 preschools in Mount Washington Valley, Northwest, Western Maine, Northern New Hampshire, um, and providing reading materials and reading the children. During the summer, as we have Friday, we have a children's theater series, which we have every Friday through the rest of August. Yep. Um, we also have, which is uh, coming up on Thursday, um, Pretty big concert, The Rogues. That's Thursday the 16th. And that sounds pretty cool. I was reading about them, and uh, some of us, for the unacclimated, uh, there are probably people going, The Who? The yeah, Rogues? Well, but tell us about The Rogues, Jesse. The Rogues, Celtic, Celtic band magic. Um, one of the number one Celtic bands in the entire world. They are so big in, in Europe, in Asia, they have performed for millions of people. Um, I, I was trying to think of an equivalent, you know, in our country. But all I can say is these guys are just monsters uh, across the pond, and they'll be here on the 16th. Now, their Celtic music, you know, bagpipes, drums, yep. bass. Uh, they've they've got nine albums out. They were in a Christopher Walken movie in 211. Uh, they they've been uh, just recently um, down in Atlanta playing a huge concert on stage with with uh, Alison Krauss. I mean, these guys, they just play. Wow. And they play and they play. And, and I, their I, music's wonderful. And I bet the, the volume will not be, it will not be a quiet concert. I suspect it'll be a lively concert. However, the Theater in the Wood, um, where the, there's the guys playing right there, yep. The Theater in the Wood is a phenomenal venue for, for music. The sound quality in the, in the theater in the wood is where the show is. It's, a, it's amazing. Yeah, it is phenomenal for, for music. Now, for, the, for those who are uninitiated, they're probably saying, what, rock music and bagpipes, rock music and Celtic stuff. Yep. The thing is, is that they, they actually blend very well together. The, yeah. the bagpipe is actually an incredible rock yeah. instrument. It is. And, uh, and blends to all the stuff that they, well, that they can th do. That's right. I mean, we're t th this is, it's, gonna, it's Celtic music. It's rock. It's classical. And you're right, exactly. It is a blend. Um, Celtic has become very popular in this country. Um, you're not going to see a bigger band than, than the Rogues. Right. Um, that's that's just, very cool. Simply not. Uh, tickets are $30 at the door. Um, you can also still go online to theaterinthewood.org right now and get your tickets in advance. Um, doors open at 7 on Thursday, uh, concert at 7.30. The Theater in the Wood is just two miles north of the Scenic Vista, for those of you who have been cruising north and around. Um, very, a, very easy to find. you got the nice new sign. Anything else? Yeah. Right opposite uh, Town, Hall Town Hall Road. Road. That was the yep. word I wanted. Yep, that's right. So yeah. I just know where it is. So yes, I don't you do. To, I, don't <laughs> have, I don't have to wonder where it is. That's right. So, that's right. Well, that's great. So uh, $30 and uh, tickets are available ahead of time. Now, you might want to get the tickets ahead of time. I, I would I would almost hazard that. I mean, that. we do have, it's a good 250, 300 seat theater, but I, I would recommend getting tickets in advance. You don't want to be, um, you know, standing in line and you right. know, have the... What's that symbolic door come that's down? That's right, come down. On, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the door. It's yeah, just the symbolic door. We don't have one, but we That's can, right. Well, that's time. great. So that, uh, that'll yeah. be a lot of fun coming up there this Thursday. Yeah. And what, uh, what else is coming up after that? Well, we've got um, the Cold River Radio Show, which is going to be on, starting on the uh, 26th of August. Um, we're going to have John Sardi, and he will be doing a live radio show right from the theater in the wood, and that's going to continue on uh, for a series as well. Um, you can get all information about all of our events uh, believeinbooks.org um, and you know you can get learn all the information about uh, all the different programs and events and so right. forth. Plus you can like you on Facebook. Facebook, uh, it's one of our great communicators. It's there it is and, and, and that's where that's one of the things you know I get the, uh, the emails and I also get the, uh, the Facebook 
bursts or whatever they whatever they, they, those kids today call it, <laughs> um, and uh, find out about all these great things. Yeah. So that's a great way to keep in yeah. touch with what goes on with Believe in Books. Yeah. And of course, you're going to be heading off into the schools uh, coming up in yeah. a month or we so. Start, so. We start our, our outreach program very shortly. Again, we'll be out hitting the schools of northern New Hampshire and western Maine. We visit with uh, a storybook character, a reader, and we go to the preschools, we read, and every kid gets a brand new book after we're done. And it's just the most amazing program. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's we, such a we great reach, program. You know, you know, 1,500 kids a year. Um, we've given away over 35,000 books to, to date with this program. I mean, it's just phenomenal. It's terrific. And, and the concert, uh, by the way, is in support. You know, net proceeds do benefit uh, the Believe in Books Literacy right. Foundation. Just well, that's terrific. And of course, now we, you know, it's never too early to start thinking about December. And the Polar Express, the, uh, I know the lottery deadline is coming up here yep. pretty quick. Uh, Polar Express, yes. Believe in Books Literacy, Literacy Foundation. You forgot about that, didn't you, Jeff? Well, I didn't. You brought it up so beautifully. Um, <laughs> folks either don't know that we're associated with uh, Polar Express, or they think that's all we do is the Polar Express. Right. And obviously, there are those who know all of this stuff. Um, Polar Express uh, is in November and December, and the lottery deadline, October 1. And you can go online and download a, a lottery form, send it in, um, and get yourself into the mix. There you go. And then, of course, around that time, they're going to be looking for volunteers to help out with that. Volunteers so are you can a get a hold huge, of, part, huge of part of that. So uh, uh, I've been lucky enough to be involved with that for six years ago, yep. six years, I think, now. Yep. So uh, what a great event. Oh. And, just, and everything that, that you guys have been doing has really been top-notch. So, and it just sounds like this Thursday is just going to be yeah. top of top notchedness This is big time. We've got a world-class band coming in that I would take advantage of seeing if, if you're able to be in town. Well, that's just terrific. So definitely check that out. Go on to the website uh, or call Believe in Books. But I understand that Jesse has something in his pocket. What is it, Jesse? We've got two tickets to... The <laughs> a pair of tickets to this uh, Thursday show. Well, we ought to give those away. We should. Are we just going to willy-nilly give them away? You, you willy-nilly it. Willy-nilly. <laughs> oh, we have a question. Okay, oh, we have a... Oh, so right. we're less willy and nilly right. than we thought. Right. So 356-6619 uh, six, 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 is the number to call, and you just have to answer this simple question, and uh, you will get a chance. Well, you won't get a chance. You'll get some tickets. <laughs> Gosh golly, you'll get a couple of them. A pair, even a pair, even a pair of tickets. I'm just waiting for the question. We're just, we're just, we're we'll stretching just. now. You know, as we're waiting, <laughs> waiting, waiting for the you know, for the uh, question to to show up. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. The moose is the largest member of the deer family. What is the second largest? Would it be a caribou, an elk, a mule deer, or a musk ox? Which is the second largest member of the deer family? Hmm, interesting question. Good morning, White Mountains Today. Hi, is the answer the elk? Is the answer the elk? The answer is the elk. Good question. I was going to say muskox. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. Who's on the phone? This is Maureen. Maureen, how are you today? Wonderful, thank you. Maureen, are you ready to rock it out on Thursday night at uh, Theater in the Woods? I certainly am. Certainly. That's awesome. Well, we're going to get some more information from you. Jamie's going to answer the phone, and she'll get all the information. And uh, so uh, Maureen Perfect. is going to go and see the rogues. Maureen, we're looking forward to seeing you. She's going to be the one in the front, you know, holding the bagpipe replica <laughs> yeah. in the front. And yelling, <laughs> rogues! Good. Yeah. Well, that sounds great. That's just a great thing. Hey, you know, a question for you with that, you know, that question we just had there. What do you get when you cross an elk and a mistake? I don't know. What? You get a caribou-boo. And on that note, <laughs> so definitely check out Believe in Books. Go to believeinbooks.org, like them on Facebook, call up Jesse, run into him in the, the supermarket and say, hey, tell me more, because yeah. there is so much more. I'll tell so. you more. So Thursday night, doors open. Uh, doors at 7, show at 7.30. Definitely check.